Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set the assistive touch custom actions for single tap, double tap, or long press on your iPhone 12 or the iPhone 12 Pro. First, let's go back to your home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. And then we're going to tap on settings. In the settings page, go down and tap on accessibility. Next, go down and tap on touch. At the top here, tap on assistive touch. Make sure you turn it on. Once you turn it on, you can see assistive touch will appear on the screen. Now to set a custom actions for your single tap, you tap on it. And then in here in the list, you choose what happened to it when you are, uh, when you are tapping on your assistive touch icon uh, once for a single tap. So you can see in the list here, there's quite a lot of uh, different actions that you can uh, use. Um, for example, shortcuts, you can open up uh, one of the shortcuts. Uh, for example, uh, IT Jingles is a shortcut that I have created in the Shortcuts app. So when we tap on it, it will open up a web page, like so. And you can see it's open up the web page. So let's go back into settings. So you can also set it to um, go back to your home screen. So you can select Home. So if you do a single tap, it will go back to the home screen. And uh, you can open up app switches, analytics, and a bunch of other things that you can do. So select one of the options. Now it's very similar to uh, double tap. So double tap at the moment is set to none. So what happens when you double tap on it? Uh, so you can open up a, a menu. So if I double tap on this, it will open up a menu. And you can see here, double tap timeout. You can test it out. Uh, you can tap on the plus or the minus button. Uh, to increase or decrease the delay. And that is double tap. Let's go back and uh, look at the long press. Long press at the moment is set to open up menu. You can choose uh, not none as uh, in nothing. So we do nothing when you long press on it. Or you can choose to open up control center for example. So if I long press on this button here, then the control center should uh, open. So I'll try it again. So it doesn't look like it's open up. Yeah, now it's open up. So something's going on right there. So I'll try it again. So if I long press on it, now the control center open. So something is wrong just then. It didn't work, but now it works. And that's it. So that is the long press action. Uh, you can choose volume up or volume down as well if you want. So if I press on it, hold it, you can see it will uh, decrease the volume. Or you can yeah, choose one of the options in here. And that's it. So that's how you can set a custom actions uh, for a single tap, double tap, long press for your assistive touch on your iPhone 12 or the iPhone 12 Pro. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.